it is, we are the most diverse we've ever been and will continue to be more diverse. For many years, white women have held the role of Chief Human Resources Officer at Nielsen. Here is a history of Nielsen's recent HR chiefs. Number 5. Mary Liz Finn Number 4. Nancy Phillips Number 3. Lori Lovett Number 2. Jamie Moldavsky It would appear diversity to Nielsen is a white woman, because white women know what it feels like to be racially discriminated against. Jamie, are you ready? I am ready. Let's go. So I really spent my career uh, back and forth between marketing and general management. Really, my first stop in my career was uh, with American Express, both domestically and abroad. A number of years at Wells Fargo, where for the last nine years, I was actually the chief marketing officer. And then in November, I had the great honor to join Nielsen. And Nielsen is, you all know, is a hundred and plus year old company. I just want to ask one more question. What's something that a brand has done to make you feel like they know you and they see you? Oh, so easy. I took my car in to be fixed last week. It was going to be there a couple days. And instead of giving me the loaner they normally would, they credited my Uber account with a couple hundred dollars and said, take as many rides around town as you need to on us. Awesome. Oh, Number one, Nicolina Marzicola. And so we sent out a survey with just three simple questions. What do you want to take with you? What do you want to leave behind? And what do you want to be known for? Lawsuit was filed against the 97-year-old global ratings firm in an Illinois federal courtroom. Grace, who has been with Nielsen for 16 years is, and is one of its few black executives or executives of color, said internal conversations and written correspondences about race and career advancement with several of the company's top executives, including its CEO, have led to her being marginalized and subjected to a hostile work environment. Carol has been a, a vocal supporter of Nielsen and done extraordinary work in repairing uh, Nielsen's reputation and contributing to public affairs, just not sufficient to be awarded and recognized for her talent and promoted to executive vice, vice president, unfortunately. You have to be very deliberate. There are phenomenal women mm -hmm. and phenomenal uh, people that represent those minorities that are out there. They may not specifically be looking to make a move. They may be happy doing what they're doing. Question number five. Who did we call our first black president? Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Very good. Complete this sentence. In order to be considered half as good, you have to work twice as hard. Twice as hard. Number seven. 